of Zero Ward. Very nicely placed. Just, uh, you know, guesswork, but it works out. Alright, he was waiting until the last second just to eat it with his tango so he gets that value heal off. We do have that duel in the bottom and Nofi and Elodent, they're both in position. They want to go on this guy. They will go in. Kimothai is going to be the target they want. The one who is easy to kill. Big them goes for an earth shot. And that is going to be first blood on the keep of Elida Sneaker. He was like, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll tank. You just sit behind me. But they knew not enough to take the Magnus away. He does have Skewer. You cannot actually Skewer in the pounce. So whenever Afterlife is pounce, he does have small issues. But it should be okay. You know, he can deal with it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. As for the attack. bottom lane, Nikra, he looks like he's in a lot of trouble. He does not have his Sparrow Strike, and this Ursa is just wrecking him. Nikra does have a TP available. Does he get it off? No, they see him. They find him. Ursa comes out from Big Dumb. He does not want to let that guy scooter further into the jungle and waste more of his time farming. In the meantime, they get control of the top lane. Looks like he wants to try and, well, maybe just put a ward down. Maybe try and contest the Witch Doctor a little bit. They could kill the Witch Doctor if they got a jump on him. We'll put that ward down and let's see. Can they find a jump on the Witch Doctor? The Magnus goes into position, tries to just... Ooh, they find him. Skewer comes out. The Witch Doctor is going to be controlled. He tried to go for a little Paralyzing Cast, but that is not going to give him anything as Focus Dota. Will have to back himself up as well. No fear. Way too tangy. Way too annoying. Gate. Get a lot of value mana out of it, and suddenly the Ember Spirit is like, well, my mana is slowly being drained, I may actually die. Rubik in the bottom lane, maybe a little bit in trouble. Luminate does a lot of damage, Lift comes out. Hello, Dance tries to survive, that is not going to be happening, though. No fear goes in, gets a couple of hits off, but they lose the Rubik nonetheless. They go for Sentry, oh, unfortunate. The Sentry will miss the Observer Ward. He'll buy a new set of Sentries, and know where it is now, but, um... So, you know, two sentries at the cost of one observer ward. Decred takes a fire blast in the face. Lift comes out. Big Num wants to go in on him. He doesn't have a borrow strike available. They will kill the Ogre Magi. Old sentry comes out. Necra, he may survive that sandstorm skill point. And now they're trying to go for a kill on exactly that hero. Yoku is going to be the target. They have Maldic available. They go in. Borrow strike comes out. Maldic comes out. I'm not sure this is going to be enough, though. They need the damage of the Ember Spirit as well. Everyone is just farming. They just want to complete the next item, the next item, the next item. And on the side of No Logic Gaming, they're kind of they're, they're kind of far away from their own items though. The Equa may be a little bit in trouble down bottom. Power Strike comes out, controls him, they get the kill. Very nice deal from Aloha Dan stealing that Power Strike. He can continue using it as that is enough to fight this. I'm not sure if they can though. No. Ember Spirit goes in for a jump on the Rubik. The Rubik will lift him up, control him for a little bit. Looks like a low is going to be the one who drops. Warfare comes out. He's alive for the moment. Fire Blast from No Fear, but the Ember Spirit already got the kill he wanted. He's now trying to disengage himself. Then Ward from the Witch Doctor will get a kill on the Ursa as well as he drops down. Apparently they did not expect this lock to make a move with the rest of the team. But so far, it's still just friends moving around. They're moving up to the top area. They want to get this tower. They bring down the tower with Big Dumb. Nikra goes for a stun. He will be controlled. Those skill comes out as well. They do have RP in case they need it. Nikra, Power Strike. Oh, one second off. As that hurt from No Logic Gaming, and you have to give space for that ages. You cannot just, you know, idle sit by. Travels Veil on the Ember Spirit, four staff on that keep of the light moving towards a ghost at the next. So he does not want to go for Ashwood yet. The Witch Doctor got jumped by Big Num and he will be executed easily. The slot very close to eyes for a moment longer, but this is not going to be a lot of time that he gets given. Yoku takes his illuminate to the face, will be taken down. Rubik got taken down in the background by Nikra. Afterlife goes in with a blink, gets an RP off, but it's only the Witch Doctor who gets hit. In the meantime, the Slark tries to get himself away. He does have a pounce available, but he's fine in the trees. They don't have any more detection, so he can sit here for at least a little moment longer. They're searching for him. They will see him now. Big Num goes in, gets a jump. Kesa gets hit. Looks like the Ursa maybe will be in trouble. He needs to fight up against Focus Dota. He will lose the Aegis. In the meantime, in the back, Nice Dofi will be taken down next. Half-Life, he's hiding in the trees. He has skew available in a few seconds. Blinks away from Nikwa. And he's not stopping that. Yoku is getting jumped. He tries to go for an ultimate on the Focus Dota. That is not going to save his life as he will drop down the Rubik. The Rogue Magic will drop as well. Focus Dota gets himself away. Shadow Blades up. And the Big Num. Well, soon on the Ursas. He went for the helm, so he's getting low on slots. I guess it's not too much of an issue if you go defusal instead of the TP. 
I see though. Bottom lane. Oh, Ursa gets shown. BKB gets used. He goes for some rage as well. Nico may be a little bit in trouble. Does have a force available? Big no this Next BKB. The witch doctor will be taken down. Maybe a little bit too YOLO. They're trying to pop him. They knew he had also smoke they used. In the meantime, no logic game. They're actually trying to go in the backlands and find someone themselves. But the Ursa almost finishes up that Roshan. And looks like they will get it. The courier will be taken down. So they know this is going to be happening. But it's too late. Ages have been drawn. Focus Dota is going to be controlled. He does not have BKB available. He needs to be careful. That's what comes out from the Witch Dog. The Witch Doctor will be hit by Nashville in the meantime. Big them. He just gets popped. Focus Dota takes a lot of damage, but not enough. They pop him. Hello, Dance. Blinks in. Gets that fateful kill. And that is a dead slot for 60 seconds. OD needs to be a little bit careful. Does not have anything available to save him. Or does he? He goes on Milan, a couple more hits he needs to survive, and he turns out to survive for a second as Nico goes in, gets a burst right kill on him. Nico himself needs to try and go for a deny, does not happen. Alright, so in the end it's 3 for 3. Very even exchange, and they blow him up as the OD is dead for 70 seconds. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Nothing on top of that though. The BKB is still not done on Afterlife either, so they are trying to fish for something maybe a little bit too greedy. Focus is getting jumped on. He sees it, he pops his dark crack, he gets it off. He goes for a TP out, but he tries to just disengage. Oh, he should have gone for the TP out as he, they didn't have any way to control him. They used the RP already. He may be a little bit in trouble here. The team comes in. They want to try and help him. He may be in trouble though. Bignum goes and gets a bash on him and he will be taken down 70 seconds without the slug. Goes to the comes out by the Wage Darkseid. He will be dropping next. Goes for that sword. Bignum goes for the enrage. And Lower Dance in the meantime tries to set up for a jump. Nico goes back in. Bar strikes up. Gets a jump on the Earth. So he picks up the gem in the back lines. As they will be able to secure the gym for a second longer. They've already lost three heroes, though. Nikra needs to survive. He cannot afford dying here. He blinks a little bit, but that is not the case. As friends, they jump him and they kill him. They will now know that there's some ward wards available in this area. They lost the fight, but that's it. In the meantime, another friend's initiation is about to come out. They want to go and focus again. Lift comes out. They have the RP as well. They go in. They don't want to commit anything too big though. And they don't have to. They bring down this lock. Nico is getting controlled next. They will bring him down as well. Yul Scepter comes out. But it's only going to give him a couple of seconds. As he will die as well. Two dead on the side of No Logic Game. His friends, they go for some amazing jumps. Milan in the back lines. He needs to be careful. He's spotted out. They can jump him and they can kill him. He tries to get himself away, Ashwell comes out and he will be controlled enough in case it tries to help his friend, but he can only just, you know, hope for the best. Yoko, late game, OD boys, OD. So much damage, man, so much damage. What a hero, man. 4,000 damage was done from form, and then you suddenly have the recall, you have the blinding light, you have the vision advantage as well. In the meantime though, the Keeper Thought Axe completed, gem up on him as well, J4, but he gets jumped, he gets control, RP comes out, and J4 will be taken down slowly. Alright, gem is on the ground now, the Witch Doctor goes in, gets Ash rolled up, gets controlled, he will drop down the neck, Milan dies as well, down for only 10 seconds, what is that? Minus 40 second respawn time, 10 second death, that's uh, not a long time you're dead, but either way. As two more dead on the side of No Logic Gaming, they gave away the gem this time, as they did not manage to save it. Both teams are looking for each other. Bottom lane, the afterlife. He sees these people. He sees them. J4 is in the area. What lovely cases also moving on and about. They find J4, though they see him. He's AFK. He's standing still, but he will be taken down. Abyssal comes out. He's getting controlled. He goes for a nice blinding light. He may actually be able to survive this, but no. Joker comes in from the side, and he will be taken down regardless. The Rubik in the meantime in the top lane ends up losing his life a little bit too greedy, perhaps. One for one. So we don't want to we don't want to go until like 12 o'clock before the second game even begins. Either way, let's see. Oh, Afflife, he's looking for kills. Skewer comes out. That is a Witch Doctor who will be taken down easily. 13 seconds. 13 seconds dead. Like, how, can, how is that possible? How is that a thing that you only did for 13 seconds? It almost, like, it almost feels like that kill is not even worth it because at the moment you don't care as much about Amazing blinding light from J4 as he pushes them away, wastes the RP. 
from friends. The witch doctor will be falling again, down for 10 whole seconds. Again, we'll see in the mean. He pops another enrage, will be alive. Continues to find kills. J4 is going to be the next opening. He may be dead this time, though, as Focus comes back in. He brings down the Ursa. The OD got taken down in the back lines as well. That is two calls down from friends. They have used their spells, they have used their RPs. The refreshers and cooldown from Magnus, and let's see, they are finding more. <laughs> no fear is going to be the next one. Well, Kesa doesn't really have too much mana available, but he wants to go for something nonetheless. And he will find him. Slowly dying. Okay, three people down on the side of <laughs> friends. As that is a very big turnaround from the side of No Logic Gaming. They find so many nice kills, and I mean, friends, they use everything. They use their RPs. They, it was just. Woo! One set of racks taken down, then Magnus, five back comes out from the Rubik, Magnus is first that gets controlled, has his enrage available, focus to other his BKB, he's going to be alive for the moment, Shadow Dance is available as well, Afterlife, he doesn't have a big blink available before a few seconds, he goes in, gets an RP off, but again, not good enough on focus, the Ursa will be taken down, and the Magnus just didn't do anything in that fight, Yoku now gets control, goes for a self astral, does have his blink available, can he get it off though, that's the question, no, he gets hit before he gets a blink off, and Odie will be taken down as well, Ursa, Odie, OD both dead. The OD does have buyback available this time around. 100 seconds down. He will have to use his buyback and the Ursa does not. One kill. As no logic gave me the buyback. The tanky. They want to take this fight. They want to commit slug. He needs to be careful. He has a shadow that's available. Will pop it. Will survive a little bit longer. Magnus dies. The Yoga dies. Buyback on the Magnus. Victim gets controlled. He will drop down as well. The OD will die. Everyone is being obliterated on the side of friends. GG gets called. As they cannot take this fight anymore, it's too much. RP is great on Afterlife. He actually gets an amazing RP off, but four man RP does not matter when.